Hey guys, it's Monique. I'm back with a thrift haul. It's been so long since I filmed a thrift haul. I go thrifting all the time, but this thrift haul is so huge for me that I had to make a video for it. I went thrifting on Martin Luther King Jr. Day and it was one of the best experience I ever had thrifting. I spent $45. If you go to the mall with $45, you're gonna get two things depending how you spend your money. If you haven't been thrifting, definitely check it out. Take a friend. I took my friend. She actually had to leave to go to work. I told her, it's okay, go ahead and leave me because I haven't been through half of the store. And by the time I got to the register, the guy was like, wow, you have so many green tags. I was like, yeah, I was here since you guys opened. And it was like almost 2 o'clock. And I got there at 9 o'clock. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm going to show you guys. Just keep watching. I'm going to try on everything. I found a light mint hoodie. It's pretty thin and see-through, but I bought it mainly because I wanted to de-stress it and put holes in it, like my pink hoodie. And it is from Old Navy and it's a 2X. It's pretty big on me, but I like that about it. I found this baseball long sleeve top. I always wanted one of these and I'm so glad I found one. It's from Baseball Express XL. I found it in the men's section. I was surprised that I found this because most peplums that I see are fine. They're mostly short sleeve and I like the way this looked on me. The only thing is I don't know what size it is and I don't know what brand this is or how to say it. And then there's this thing underneath. I want to cut that off because when I put it on it always comes up. But I love this peplum and I don't really have that much purple clothes by the way. Even though it looks so simple, it's so beautiful. I love the color and the texture of it. The brand, I have no idea how to say. I'll like put it down below because it's really small letters. But it's a size medium. And um, what's really cute about it is that it has these slits on the side. The back part's longer and the top and the front is shorter and it looks so cute when I try it on and then that's what made me got it. I found another hoodie. It's the type that you like wrap it in the front but it's connected at the bottom so like you can't undo it but it's like crisscross. The color is so beautiful. It feels so soft like new and it has pockets even though it's wrapped in the front. The brand is, it kind of erased because I washed it, but it said cups, cups, and the size is XL, and then this part kind of, I think the dryer was too hot and it like burned it. It's something different and it's super cute. This cardigan is like the most exciting thing that I got from my whole haul. It is from D and Co. Denim and Co. and it's a 3X. And yes, it's super big on me. I have to cuff the sleeves, but it is so beautiful. It's basically brand new because I have cardigans like this. The little threads will already like pop out. It's so long. It's like a duster on me, and it has the button still attached to the little thing. So whoever has this took really good care of it or they didn't even use it that much. I love this. When I saw this I was like <sniffs> the only reason I bought this neon cardigan is because I finally have something to wear my neon scarf with and it's cheetah with neon the same neon. It's also from Gap and it's a 2x and I actually really like it. I already wore it to work and I got a lot of compliments on my outfit. Weatherproof top it's like super stylish like this is so cute and it's helps you with the weather um the brand is 32 degrees heat and it's weatherproof size xxl and it was only a dollar i love the shape of this top it's kind of like a peplum but like 
ruffle at the bottom and I love how the stripes go down to make you look slimmer I hope that works on me um <laughs> it's from Marona and the size XL and the kind of thing I don't like is the wrist of the sleeves but it's something I have to get used to the back has a keyhole but I feel like if you want you can wear it to the front no one will know I was surprised to find this company at the thrift store it's from Boho and it's a size 16. It's like a charcoal gray color, long sleeves, and it is so beautiful with the slit on the side. I don't know, that top, that style is so cute. You'll see when I try it on. It looks so good. It reminds me of the green one, but this slit's like more. It's more longer. I love it. I found in the men's section was this coca-cola shirt but i feel like it's a woman's shirt because it's an xl but the baseball shirt that i have is xl and it was like way big and this is like juniors or something it's not that big for an xl but this was only a dollar so i picked it up um it's basically new it looks like it's been through a lot but that's just how the design was and i thought that was cool from nike it's the U.S. Soccer. I got it because it was in really good condition for like a sleep shirt or like one of those days when you don't feel like dressing up, which is very often for me. Now this sweater just looks so good on me. Awesome thing about it, it's a size small in this brand. Um, it's so stretchy. The color is amazing. I love the print on it. If this is a small, what's an XL? When I tried this in the fitting room, I didn't realize how see-through it was, but I still think it's super cute with these studs on the side and then right here, it's like striped with the same color. Um, it's from Charlotte Russe in a size large. Before I start talking about this shirt, it's from Old Navy and it's a medium. I found it in the guy section and as I was saying I'm black and white and I thought this shirt is like has so much meaning to it even though it just says a black background and it says white and a white background that says black and it's an equal sign meaning we are all equal something that stood out to me and say this is a part of me and I'm so happy that I found this this was actually two dollars and 49 cents but it was on half off the sweater reminds me of my lipsticks that's why i really wanted this but i thought it was so cool how it goes light to dark and it goes on the sleeves as well from white to baby pink to this nude pink color to this tan and it also has pink in it and then it goes to just straight up tan and it does that on the sleeves too which is pretty cool this is the brand and it's a 2x and i don't really like horizontal stripe tops but this one i make an exception for when i saw this sweater i had to get it because it reminds me of my posters the characters i make i put a heart eyes on them and i saw this and i was like yes I need it um the color is like creamy color it looks gray because there's like black specks everywhere and then there's skulls on the sleeves and skulls on the back also on the bottom and I love how it's really short cropped in the front and a little bit longer in the back it reminds me of someone that's why I got it plus it was a dollar this brand cozy and it's one size a i fit one size that's cool <laughs> even though this long sleeve is so simple i need it in my life because i wear my green like a green army color vest and i always wear with the black long sleeves or i wear my cardigans with black so i thought i would switch it up and i really like this color and the way it looked with the green and it was a dollar brand is great northwest clothing company woman 1x this sweater is northwest i live in the northwest that's pretty cool you know how you find those things at the thrift store and you're like i need it 
I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I need it. And when I saw this, um, I think it's a dress. It's like a wrap dress. And then on the side, it has this buckles on it. And then inside it has this um, belt to secure from its opening. It has these little loops. I'm thinking you put your bra straps in them, but I don't know. There's no brand. There was one. Someone cut it off. And the weird thing is the size is on the back. And it's a 2X22 wide. And then this belt goes on the side. And it's so long. I don't even know I'm going to wear this to, but I cannot pass this up because I feel like I could do something with this. But I don't know what yet. But this is so pretty. With the luck I had of finding so much stuff, I decided to go to the skirts. Look at the color, the print. The material is like a satiny, silky. It's from Torrid. So you know this is expensive. Um, and the size 18. It has a zipper in the back. Um, it had a clasp to it. Very poofy skirt. It has this poofiness under there. I don't know if I should cut it off because I'm not really used to that. Let me know what you guys think if I should cut it, that part off or not or just leave it. Let it be. I was surprised it fit me. It was a dollar and it was from Torrid. It was like so nice and good condition. Like, I had to get it. I just had to. I found four skirts. This one kind of reminds me of Cinderella. <laughs> like her scrubbing the ground days. Um, it has pockets and it has these buttons around each loop but it's actually missing one on this one so I was thinking to take the buttons off and put new buttons it's a pretty jean color it's stretchy it's size 36 and it's ladies garment workers union union made that's so cool. So this must have been a uniform of I don't know what job, but that is so cool. Something in the union. What do you guys think this is for? And the other skirt I found is this jean skirt. It's really big on me and I know I can get it fixed. That's why I decided to not pass it up. And it has a row of buttons going all the way down. It has pockets. It's by... Kayo, Kayo of California, 100% cotton, in the size 20 wide. I haven't had a jean skirt before, besides I was young, but ever since then I never got one. And I'm super excited to wear all my skirts in the spring and summertime. Still has the tags attached to it. It's from this brand, but it's sold at Fred Meyer. It, they were trying to sell it for 36 but then it went down to $26.97, but I got it for a dollar. It's in the size 1X. Redmeyer is a store here in Washington. The buttons go all the way down the middle, and I like to turn it and have the buttons go down the side. The other jackets that I got were half off, but this one was actually a dollar. It's that um army green kind of like a jean material but it has this stretchy sweater material on the collar and on the bottom of the sleeve and the bottom of the coat and i really like these even though it's um simple black arrow leather there's pockets cinches at the waist by tightening the string or you can loosen it and then there's a fake pocket right here. It opens and closes, but you can't put anything in there. I mean, you can try. And it is from Thread Supply in the size <laughs> large. A little bit tight on me, but it's one of those jackets that you wear open, you know, that look better open. I like that's pretty long, too. I don't know how to explain this coat. It's like a North Face material. It came with the belt. But there's like no loops on the side, but that's okay. It's from 
Nordstrom point of view in the size 14. It got really wrinkly when I put it in the wash. So I'm gonna have to iron it somehow. It's in a hand wash. Cool iron. Oh, it's water repellent. Okay, this is awesome. But the color is beautiful. It comes with the hood. It's like a rust. It's like those that lipstick color. Like a rusty brown reddish color. It was $9.99. But I got it for half off. So basically $4.99. Did not mind paying half price because I found so many things that I got for a dollar. And then I found this beautiful trench coat. It had a hood. I wish I had the hood. I don't know where it went. It's in size short 40. Blended frog. The cool thing about these pockets, it has one right here and you flip this thing over, which there should be a button right here, but there's not. And then there's another pocket. And I feel like these buttons are really weak. Um, some are missing, so I do want to get some new buttons on here. And this was $14.99, so I got it for $7. Oh wait, this sweater I also got at the thrift store. It was a dollar in the brand Eddie Bauer in the size large. Last but not least, I found some shoes. I feel like the thrifting god was looking out for me and blessed me that day that I went. I found these super cute black lace-up flats. They're from this brand. I think this is a Target brand. I'm not sure. Um, they were originally $7.49 and they were half off. They're like barely used, you can tell. They're so cute. They're in really good condition. And then I also got a tripod for $4.99. It is the bomb. It was the brand Tricon. I have heels just like these, like the pointy with this lace up. But it doesn't have the gold. And I know I'm gonna love these now because they're the flat version of them. And that's the end of this haul. I hope you guys like some of the pieces that I picked out. Please let me know the items that you liked and disliked. Also, if you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up. That will definitely let me know that you would like to see more thrift hauls. And I would love to do them for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!